What's up YouTube, Jeff back again and today, another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today, I'm going to show you guys on the Galaxy S23 Ultra, my top five S Pen tips for daily use. These are S Pen tricks and tips that I use every single day, not just the extra stuff that I never use and tuck away to the side. If you guys haven't ordered your Galaxy S23 Ultra yet, check the link in the description. You can also get a free case in the mystery box if you order through my affiliate link. The directions are in the description and the pinned comment. But let's go ahead and get right into it here today. I'm going to go ahead and take the S Pen out and show you guys these top five tips. Now, the first one is one that a lot of you probably know about, and that is screen off memo. You guys probably heard that custom sound that I have when I take the S Pen out. I'll show you how to get that at the end as a little bonus tip here. So you can write things on your screen. See the nice sound it makes. Get milk there. Leave yourself a note. And of course, you can change, you know, things like color, the pen size up there at the top. And you can do all of that with the screen off. I personally find this to be one of the most useful features for the S Pen because often I'm out and about and I want to jot something down, but I don't want to have to take the phone out and look at it to turn it on with face recognition or to use my fingerprint, unlock the device. I can do this very simply, tap save in the top right corner, and then that's going to be saved to my Samsung Notes. It does save it to a separate Samsung Note so that you can go back and find that screen off memo later once you're looking for it. That is certainly a great thing and one of the best features that there is. Up next is Smart Select. Now this is probably the feature I use the most uh, when I've got the phone actually unlocked. And Smart Select basically allows you to go in and clip uh, a piece of the screen and save it as a screenshot, but not the whole screen, just part of it. So let's say that I'm looking through Instagram. I like to collect sports cards and I see this really cool Bowman Red here. Uh, by the way, if you guys want a custom background uh, for your S Pen menu, I'll show that at the very end as well, so stay tuned. But Smart Select is this icon right here, if you hover over it, that's the one you want. I can go ahead and just grab this card right there, and then I can either save it, edit it, write on it, or share it. I'll choose to save it, but you could also share it to any of your social media. So in fact, I'll show it again. If I do Smart Select again, let's say I actually want to get you do have to be a little careful with making sure you don't use the back command. See, I get that. I could go down here and I could tap share, and then I can share it to any of my friends on social media, Twitter. I can also use Samsung's quick share to then basically share it with any of my other Samsung devices or my family's Samsung devices that are nearby. Um, this is particularly awesome for social media. That's what I use it for most of the time. It can also be very valuable though for work and something that I think a lot of people enjoy using on their Samsung device. The next one is the translation slash magnification feature. I'm going to put these two together because they're both kind of utilitarian features and they're ones that I think you guys will really enjoy. So if we go in here, you can actually add these shortcuts like I have here to your S Pen menu by tapping the plus icon. One of those options is magnify. You'll see I have it enabled right here. So you want to add it. It's actually not added there by default. Once you add magnify, you can then basically magnify anything that's on your screen. So just tap it and you can even magnify things here on the home screen. Now make sure you don't hold the pen down. You see how I just did there because that of course then will select icons and things like this. I find this particularly helpful when I'm browsing on the internet and I've got some small text pulled up or something like that, especially when I'm browsing previews. I work as a math professor by day, so I'm often looking at some cool text online or mathematics, doing research or preparing for a class, and Magnify can be very helpful. Not just for those of you who have vision problems, but also for those of us who don't. Uh, up here, you can change the magnification level and all that kind of fun stuff as well. The other feature, which I also consider to be a utilitarian feature, is the Translate feature. It's right here. So with Translate, you can change the languages that you want to translate between. Often again, in mathematics, I find papers, research papers that are in a different language. Russian and German is very common. Perhaps I want to use this in my own preparation. I can hover over it and get translation from Russian to English. This says reduce the fraction. So this is asking them to reduce the fraction in this Russian exercise. I probably could have gleaned that from the context, but of course it is nice to have the actual translate feature there so that you can utilize that when in fact you do need it. Up next is the glance feature. So let's say that I am browsing through Twitter and I also want to research something on Chrome. If you go to this little eyeball looking thing down here, that's the glance feature. 
It'll minimize the window in the bottom right corner, and anytime you hover over it, you'll be back to browsing through your Twitter. Now, if you do a little flick of the wrist like this, now you're back to scrolling through Chrome. You can hover over here, Twitter, flick of the wrist, put it back down there, and you're back on Chrome. Now, the really nice thing is anytime you want to exit, you just hold it down, move it up to remove, and then you're out of the glance feature. This is a fantastic feature to use, like I said, if you're trying to cross-reference two things, if you're in one app. I use this a lot, again, with social media. I do a lot of research for videos where I have to look up stuff like leaks on Twitter for devices, Samsung software updates, and things like that. But then I also want to cross-reference some articles on Google Chrome. This allows me to do both of those things at the same time and get a lot of pertinent information and gather it. This is fantastic for switching through and multitasking in an additional way on top of the multitasking that Samsung allows you to do. The last Samsung uh, S Pen trick that I use is actually a third-party app that I add to my shortcuts. This is Microsoft Equation Solver, which you can get from the Play Store. So if we go back to the Play Store, this is it right here, Microsoft Math Solver, sorry. I'll drop a link below if you guys wanna check this out. But I use this a lot for checking solutions for homework problems I've assigned. And basically, if you're a student or if you're a teacher, it's a very useful feature, which will allow you to make solutions for your homework problems you've assigned. Again, if you are an instructor, you can actually draw stuff with the S Pen. Like let's say I wanna solve a calculus problem, like the integral of cosine of x dx, I can draw it like this. And then once I draw it, the text automatically converts to mathematics and I can hit this button right here to go ahead and solve the equation. Not only will it solve the equation for me, for which it does a really good job of doing that, it does sometimes take a little bit of time as you guys just saw, it'll solve me the equation. I can also see the solution steps right here, which explains very much in detail what it's doing. It also gives alternate interpretations, a graph, and then provides similar problems, which will create a quiz for you to learn about this. So if you're a student and you're trying to learn something about integration theory in your calculus course, this allows you to really practice your skills and get additional problems aside from the ones that your instructor may have already assigned you that you're trying to solve. It also suggests videos that you can then watch and related concepts that you might need in order to strengthen your skills. Like if you're learning about trig integrals that I've done here, you might need to also learn about trig functions from pre-calculus if you've forgotten some of those concepts. So that allows you to really strengthen your skills. I think this is one of the best uses of the S Pen, particularly for students and again, teachers and instructors at the high school or collegiate level. Now I promised you guys a bonus tip and the bonus tip I'm gonna give you here at the very end is how you can customize your S Pen menu, your background. You guys see it goes to a different background when I go into the S Pen. And also you guys may have noticed as I was scrolling around here, I have a little heart icon for my S Pen and a customized sound. Now the way you get that is by going into the Galaxy Store, downloading the GoodLock Samsung module. This is a Samsung app and downloading the module called Pentastic. Pentastic allows you to edit everything about your S Pen. You can change the way it looks. You see I have the line one enabled, but there's the old school S Pen style, the circle style, whichever style you like. You can change the icon for your S Pen. You can even make it a custom image of your choice. You can change the sound. I've got the heart sound to match my heart icon for Valentine's Day. And one of my favorite things is you can choose a double tap shortcut. This basically allows you to double tap your S Pen on the screen for your most recently used action instead of going to the menu. So again, let's say I'm scrolling through Twitter and I really wanna clip something. All I gotta do once I get on the screen is I just double tap it and then automatically I'll get Smart Select. Now you do have to worry that sometimes this is going to interfere, of course, with selecting objects. You guys just saw that right there. But the idea is supposed to be that once you do a quick double tap, it will recognize this. Over time, once you get used to doing it, it does pop up more often and uh, it just takes a little bit of getting used to. But you have to turn that feature on again by going inside Pentastic, going here, turning it on, and then choosing the option that you would like to use inside of the Pentastic app. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. If you guys are interested in this wallpaper, it's from a collection called Space by one of my favorite app designers for Android and Samsung devices, One4 Studio. I'll drop the link below in the description if you guys want to check that wallpaper pack out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.